What's going down, everybody? It's your boy, that guy, Mile High. Tune back in for episode 27 of the Cushion Coffee Morning Show. Damn, damn, damn. Hey, you already know. Like usual, we got my dog Eric behind the mic, the mystery man back yes, there, the ninja. We got my dog Turner One Take. If you haven't followed him on uh, Spotify, you know, IG, all Dang. that, all that good stuff. Any, any platform you can, Turner One Take, you need to go do so. Um, but yeah, how y'all doing this morning, man? I'm all right, man. I'm good. I'm feeling good. A little tired this morning. I'm dragging. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm actually but. not dragging as bad as I thought I was gonna be because uh, I actually didn't drive myself today. Oh, okay. my dog had to come pick me up. Word. I had the, that, that the flat tire. tire. Yeah, yes, that tire sir. issue. It still persists. <laughs> uh, I had I have the donut on it. Right now. <laughs> you got 80 like, miles. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> this is too far for me to be wasting. Right. Some, you know, valuable miles. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, my dog came pick me up, and then I will go and get my tires fixed when Word. the tire shop opens today. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. So I'm I'm chilling though. But other than that, man, good morning. You know, it was cold as shit. Yeah, like it has always been these last two, three, four mornings, man. Oh yeah, nigga, crazy. I'm yeah. not with it. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. it. I'm ready for summer, man. I'm ready for summer. But anyway, let's jump into this, bro. Yes. It's Tuesday. You, I know you got some jokes because you just asked me. If I got some jokes, <laughs> so you was ready I for today. One. I got I got two. Let's hear it, man. Let's hear this shit. Loaded. Yeah, he he was <laughs> ready, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a doped up Pikachu? What the fuck? A doped up Pikachu. I don't know. Tokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Smokemon, but I was like, that ain't quite it. Okay, I got it. I got, I got an easy one. <clears throat> what does a mermaid smoke? Seaweed. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, okay. When he said, "I was like, bam." Yeah, he I was. Got it. Yeah. He got it. He got it. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Why are some families' houses super messy? Why? Because some days it comes with cleaning. Parents just don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is annoying for that one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, get out of here. <laughs> you know you got to come with the corniest fucking dad jokes, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could appreciate oh, the fuck man. out of them. Yeah, that's all it is. And that's the only one I've got today. Word. <laughs> <laughs> but what we can talk about, though, bruh. So let's, I want to get this out of the way, too. You, have you heard of the Supremes, the group? Yeah. Oh, Back yeah, in yeah, the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Diana Ross. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mary yeah. Wilson, the founder of the Supremes, actually died. Yesterday, or oh, I think it was either thir- early this morning or late last night. I yeah. want to say it was early this morning that it happened. Um, but at 76, man, mm. she passed away. God bless the dead. So, yeah, yeah RIP. Yeah. Just wanted to make acknowledgement of that, you know, so anybody out there who, you know, remembers the Supremes or is a Supreme fan or is yet to discover the Supremes, you know what I'm saying? Just want to let you know. That's right. Mary, Mary Wilson has passed away. Um, but on some funnier news, you know what I'm saying? Let's lighten it back up. Let's lighten, lighten it back, it back up. up. You know what I'm saying? Start off kind of heavy right there. Yeah, woo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, we got to get this one out the way early because <laughs> this is sad. So, um, let, me, let me light up now. Let me light yes, up. Sir. What are you smoking on over there, Vontae? Um, some runs. Some runs. Okay. okay. I'm smoking on some garlic juice. That garlic juice. What you got over there? Eric, I don't see you having nothing. You don't even got the dab rig out. What's well, I took on? I took a dab before I came, came in. Oh, it was okay. that. It's that Habana. Okay, sure. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Shit's fire. You're too tired to keep dabbing. Oh, bro, that should be having me dead in the day, bro. In the mornings. I Hell bet. Man. I can't. I can't. That's why I stick to the flower. Right. That's yeah, why I, I only take one dab in the morning. That's all I need. <clears throat> I hear you, bro. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, yo, did y'all hear about the chick? Who replaced her hairspray? <laughs> I saw with this gorilla shit. glue. Yeah, I saw this shit. <laughs> I seen something about that, but it really it's real, bro. Oh, shit. her shit was a movie. She her had to go shit to the, wasn't moving. Had, no, bro, for that a shit. month, bro. She washed her shit. She had the conditioner <laughs> in her hair. She was scrubbing her shit. Shit wasn't moving, <laughs> oh, bro. For anybody who just wants your shit to stay, <laughs> that, she figured it out because yeah. it ain't yep. going nowhere. That's it. So what? Did she go get surgery? So no, I don't know. She a, went to the a, a plastic no, surgeon, that. reached out to her, and basically was like, "Yo." Like I can help you. We okay. can get this. We can get this out and get this done. And basically, they're gonna use medical grade glue remover. Okay, you know what I'm I was saying? thinking acetone off top. I, I'm sure it's probably something. Like <laughs> yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the, guess how much the procedure cost though? Like if you were like to be a regular person to do this shit and not G's. have the help, not quite that much. Like ten, fifteen. Yeah, you're in the ballpark. Twelve thousand five hundred mm. to mm. go get. So if you got some Gorilla Glue, <laughs> yeah, 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 because yeah. you were dumb enough for like an eight nine I'm bottle. Sorry. Yeah, that, yeah, like I don't know how bottle. you get 
that to that point in your life where like you're out of hairspray and, and the next bright idea was like gorilla, gorilla glue. glue that holds everything <laughs> together like what this shit ain't moving <laughs> <laughs> like how do you come to that conclusion uh, bro she must have been going to get some good dick <laughs> i'm just saying she had to look good or something like t- t- like what like what would possess you to put glue in your hair right like honestly, yes, honest to God, bro. It's like, not a beauty product. You running out of fucking hairspray is not a good enough excuse for me. I think <laughs> that's I think, like that's I like something I expect my five year old to say. Facts. We'd have to have a female in here to get a legit answer, because bro, anything we say, they they, they yeah, that's ladies bad. for real. So now we're now we're now we're here, ladies. <laughs> what would possess you to put gorilla glue in your hair? Any kind of glue in your hair? <laughs> being a grown ass woman. What are you doing? Other than some great bomb ass dick that you didn't want to miss out on. I don't know. Like, you tell me. I don't know what else. Like, that just. <laughs> she finally got a oh, shot at dead. something she didn't think she was going to get. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Tweaking. That's what she was doing. That bitch might have been doing a little bit too much. <laughs> just, bro, I just don't get it. Like, when I first saw the TikTok, uh, it was a TikTok or Instagram video or some shit that uh-huh. my girl showed it to me. And she was like, look, you see this? She looked like she, a helmet. She, yeah, she was like, she used Gorilla Glue on her hair. And she was just dying. And I was just like, what? Like, I was I was bro. laughing, but I was so confused. Who that shit up on Google for? I had no look, idea. Look. Oh, that's her? This is her right there. Is it the picture of her? Bruh. Of- and this shit has been. A really good glue dream that was growing up there. There was an Agent Orange that was up there. A month, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Her bro. waves was her finger waves in the, in that in that ponytail wasn't moving. Yeah, hell no, no. That shit wasn't going was nowhere, not bro. Moving. No, not one piece of hair, not bro. Not one piece no, of hair shit, made yeah. a budge. Hell no. Nah. Where she glued it down, that's where it stayed for over a month. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, yeah. I there's nothing else to say about this shit, bro. I mean, her shit was rock solid. I mean, she sprayed enough to make it like a helmet for real. Like, if you could throw a rock at her shit, real. it'd probably would just be like, tink. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> she, she, moving, she, my boy. A, she had a shield, sir. Oh she had that natural protection. Yeah, I was yeah, so I confused mean? when I saw that. So hey, if you, if you really was into that hairstyle, though, oh, you she figured it. it out. Hey, she, there you, you go. <laughs> if you got a hairstyle you don't ever want to <laughs> ever want to change... Gorilla glue, son. <laughs> gorilla glue spray. Gorilla spray. glue spray yeah, that yeah. shit down. I'm about to fuck around and come back in here with my dreads, gorilla glue. Right? <laughs> 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 the bitches don't move. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna cap. I still got them on. Yeah. You held yeah. on to them? Yeah. Like sentimental value oh, and shit? spray it back in. <laughs> my dreads. Yeah. Bro, Once upon a time. <laughs> I felt bad, bro. Like, try, I was about to toss them up. Nah, nigga. Yeah, look. Yeah. That's why you see, look, I'm at a point where, like, I'm, like, really attached to my hair. My mom just asked me yesterday, son. Hair's looking really long. Mm-hmm. When are you gonna cut this shit it? Is long as fuck. I was bro. like, I don't know, mom. I'm not ready there. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> ready. I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready to talk about I, it. I did my shit because I like my dreads. Mm-hmm. I did my shit because, bro, you know the type of music I make and shit. Yeah, bro. When I when I, like I was shooting a bunch of videos, I was doing my shit. I got the dreads, bro. I got a whole different image, and it's cool. It fits and everything, but it's more like <laughs> rugged mm-hmm. or street. Mm-hmm. I cut my hair and I'm pop star. All over again, you know. What I'm he saying? said, "I'm pop star." You know what I'm saying? I'm on like that, that Bruno though? Mars shit. That's that's on purpose. Yeah. yeah okay. I just yeah. went back to the old me. That's right. The, the me that everybody say they like. Right. You know what I'm saying? That. And you know I'm saying, give the people what they want. Give the yeah, people what they that's want. That's it. That's all I did. <laughs> Anyways, well, let's move on, man. Because I don't got nothing else. I don't have any more helmet jokes or anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gorilla glue jokes and nothing. Her shit was strong. <laughs> 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 she yo. was flexing. Anyways, yo, so you know how we've talked about how how like trappy it is still in California. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wild, wild West. Wild, wild West. You know what I mean? Um, there's an article that came out um basically you know, acknowledging this and basically saying that there is still a lot of issues kind of going on in some of these states that aren't fully regulated Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying or at least taking the full regulations and everything serious enough to where everybody's trying to follow them right so california is one of those ones i told you like people have pop-up shops and there's even some dispensaries that you know they don't even they won't pop up they just start business and never leave (laughs) you know what i'm saying there's there are those ones too who've been operating without licenses for years that's crazy and now all of a sudden they're starting to get busted down. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. the feds and stuff and people are they're starting to, to come clean in up. and doing raids yeah. and on these like illegal operations essentially because they are unlicensed. Mm-hmm. And the thing that's so crazy is like the local cops though 
aren't doing anything about it. Like, so there's a security guard. I won't divulge his name or anything. Um, but he basically was kind of giving his story. So he had been working at this dispensary as a security guard, as a contracted security guard, mind mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't even working as mm-hmm. a direct employee of them. Right. Just contracted to the property and, you know, situation. And he knew all the cops that patrolled the area. He said that they would wave at him when he would be on his breaks or, mm-hmm. you know, like it was friendly gestures. And all of a sudden, one random day, they're getting raided. He's getting arrested alongside mm. a bunch of employees and, you know, stuff like that. Everybody goes down. Bro. Yeah. And the thing that's crazy is, obviously, like, these companies not having licenses, they're not, the, obviously, the money is not being, you know, funded the right the way. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not it's going, going where it should. Yeah, it's going yeah. through, like, shell companies right. and, you know, offshore accounts and shit like that. Exactly. So that's how the owners of these little operations are kind of being protected, but then it's leaving all the people who are thinking that they're working legal, like legally or legitimately yeah, they get exposed to up. basically, you know, get arrested. Yeah. And that's crazy. Cause like, that's something similar happened here with, um, what was that dispensary's name? Uh, silver, not silver stem. Um, what was the name of the one that, that disappeared? Was that used the, to be out here. Was it the one that was on, uh, there was a whole bunch of them on federal and Sweet Alameda. Thing? Sweet Leaf, there it is. No, yeah, no. there it is. I was like, man, I can't remember the name of it because it's been so long now. But Sweet Leaf, so they had that whole situation where they they were kind of just exploiting, just like a bunch of dispensaries were at the time, mm-hmm. this loophole in a particular law where like it was called looping, and basically it was there was a gray area that basically said like once someone came in and bought their ounce, once they leave, and then my homie had some supposedly, and like he's. I- say no and what they do with yeah, it yeah, right yeah. so if they went and they rode the block or came back in 15 minutes like we would serve them again right so it's not just it wasn't just sweetly like this is you know a lot of dispensaries was doing this, like, this was this. just a great yeah, area yeah. Yeah, as yeah. long as you get off my property that's what the law says you have yeah. to leave nigga yep <laughs> what you do <laughs> for fucking 15 20 minutes right. like whatever like you know you get caught with more than what you're supposed to that's, that's your fault you. yeah. right that's what at least what we felt right until it wasn't that. <laughs> right? Yeah. So they start basically catching people who are looping. Right? And the dispensaries, you know, it is essentially their job to stop people from breaking the law. You know, at a certain, to a certain extent, mm-hmm. I feel like. Right? Because you can just simply say, like, oh, I just saw you come in here an right. hour ago. There's no way you smoked your ounce. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get out of here. <laughs> right. So, like, there's little things like that that could be done to, like, stop or prevent it, right? Oh, absolutely. But at the end of the day, like, you know, people are going to still find ways to to figure it out and get what they need. Everybody So, but, yeah, that kind of, like, opened up a whole can of worms for, you know, them. And they got made an example of, in my opinion. For sure. Because it wasn't just them who was doing it, but they were just the largest one at the time that was already been investigated. They had proved that this was happening at their stores, blah, blah, blah. Long story short. All of the bud tenders got arrested. Damn. Pretty much. Oh, like, shit. pretty much everybody in the operation that was a lower level employee had yeah, to deal with some did. sort of repercussion. Jesus. Whether it was getting a ticket or going to jail yeah. or, you know, having to fight for their license to even stay in the industry. Mm-hmm. A so combination of, of those right. fines. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, there was all sorts of craziness that like, happened, you know, to lower level employees who were just doing what they were told. Mm-hmm. You know? Go. Like, I love being able to give that for people because I don't have to. If you know, if you break a rule, it's on you. Right. You know what you I'm saying? Like they do things. tell you these things. But at the end of the day, like when this person is signing my paycheck and he tells me do it this way, I'm doing it that way. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that's just what it is. That's what it is. So, but yeah, so all these employees got arrested and had to deal with all this bullshit. Mm-hmm. And only there was, I want to say there was three owners at the time of Sweet Leaf and only one of them had to deal with repercussions because he happened to be in the state. That's crazy. The other two were like in Cali or, yep. you know, doing something else with some other business venture and just weren't here. Yep. Hit so a lick. The, dog. <laughs> so it was just like, it's like a, just another example of how like, you know, the owners are like, have this like weird kind of like protection with like all their lower the rest, level employees yeah. and stuff because they're the ones actually making the transactions mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. blah blah blah. You know what that's I mean? Crazy, like all this bro. bullshit. Yeah, that's fucking that's yeah. fucked up, bro. So like even this security guard who wasn't even a real employee of this particular company, he was just contracted yeah, to be had there. No affiliation. Had, with had a license to be a security guard, had a license for his firearm to be on duty right. with it. Everything legal. Contract in place with 
his company to that company for him to be there. Yes. Still, still got, got arrested. arrested. That's, that's funny. It's fucked up. Yeah, that's fucked up. And it's all because this company just happened to not have a license, which that's not their job to, like, it's not his job to know. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Maybe his yeah. boss's job to have looked into this shit a little further. For sure. But it wasn't his job to yeah, know no, that. That's not his job. You know what I'm He's his the job to the show the fuck up. That's right. Make sure nobody robbed this place. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy. Free that man. Up, yeah. Um, and I'm not so sure he's exactly. Still locked up? I don't know if this one if he's <laughs> probably still locked not. up now. He's probably got <laughs> no, yeah. probably not. yeah, no, no, he probably is he's probably out. But the fact is, is like up. this this is just another example of how what like it, it kind of proves the point of that social inequalities are still like <laughs> yeah, they're there, raging. Yeah, you know what absolutely. I'm saying? Because the reality is is most of these unlicensed facilities are in neighborhoods that, you know are predominantly minority, right. whether it's Mexican, Latino in general, mm-hmm. or just Hispanic in general, or, you know, black or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely. Like, it's still happening, you know? Like, these are the shops that they're targeting yeah, I was going to say, it's a target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're still running yeah. into this, and then all the employees that are in those situations are probably going to be from those communities. Mm-hmm. So now you're, like, again, you're disproportionately the, exactly. you're you making know, it messing worse. with the... With the people who have been dealing with these this discrimination and absolutely shit. so it's crazy it's changing yeah yeah just on a larger scale That's and it. now you're just <laughs> innocent people. crazy it's a crazy thought process but it is what it is man i mean just be careful make sure that when you go to get a job you you, you ask the right questions like the, all <laughs> facilities are supposed to have like licenses and everything like on, like framed up mm-hmm. and you know, visible, where you have to see. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. so, you, you should be able shit. to walk in a place and and see a license somewhere or some sort of, you know, verification that this business is legit, mm-hmm. right? Like some sort of documentation. Absolutely. If you don't see that shit, ask. And if they yeah, can't provide it, well, you that's a red flag. Emily may listen to you because you got a little fucking white collar, but let me say, I answer to someone higher than that. The person who hired you, the person who gave you purpose, the person who bestowed a blessing on you. They make South moves. Dakota. Nah, on? they're trying to push back. I know they are. Like yeah, they're still not do, trying. So to do they that. they had vo- like the voters said yes. The people, yeah, that's they right. Want that's right. The weed, yeah. Free the weed. Of course, though. Of course. Free the weed. Free the weed. <laughs> Free the, weed. <laughs> <laughs> the voters want it, but there's a judge that stopped the legalization. Well, she's super social. She's super fun, but you're going to be very surprised at how she presents herself for who she is. So. I meet this guy. I go directly to the tequila and I grab the tequila. That's what I have. Oh to yeah, say. there you go. Uh, he's invested. Oh. He's got alternative oh. motives. Oh. If you ask me, this motherfucker. This motherfucker. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Like you're making money on it being illegal. Right. He's making too much money. You're making off. too much yeah. money. You don't want to lose it. Yep. This is why we need to get those goddamn prisons defunded. All the private ones. Defund Please that private that. shit. Yes. yes. No. No yes. person yes. should be able to privately own a motherfucking other person. Not one. Sorry. And that's no. all that a prison yes. is, and it's privately owned. Is one motherfucker who owns that shit owns everybody in that, including their that's labor, right. their property, and their property. My nigga. That shit is crazy. That's modern day slavery in this. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. Like facts. Like even down south, they got they still got the real chain gang type shit. Yep. So yeah, that's, that's, you know, it's, there's really nothing to be said about it. I mean, we know that there's going to be States like this who are pushing back. Um, so, but I mean, keep fighting, keep fighting South Dakota, keep going out, keep advocating, keep getting your signatures, keep doing what you got to do. Keep pushing it to your you know, your people in your government, your Congress, your, 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 your Senate, all your people out there, get them to listen to you. Cause that's, that's right. the only way to, to get things to change. Exactly. And not only that, but make sure that you want to start putting people, like we've said in the last voting session, session, make sure. You- mm-hmm. Like not their interest, your interest. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Or at least find somebody whose interest is similar to yours. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. If you're going to let them have their interest, goddamn, at least be something similar. Find a better so at least y'all have a motherfucking same direction to walk in. For real. Shit. But uh, yeah, so South Dakotians. Mm-hmm. You know what you need to keep do. fighting. Get that keep judge fighting. out of keep, here, too. Yeah, get him out. Yep. Get him out. You're out of here. You're yeah. fired, you're sir. Out of here. <laughs> oh, asshole. I ain't got nothing to say about about the judge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the authority, and nor do I ever go to South Dakota. So, so get that judge out of here. <laughs> this is an opinion. Get yeah, him out of here. <laughs> my opinion. He shouldn't be a judge, in my opinion. He's blocking the. He's blocking the legalization <laughs> right. of marijuana. This great plant. Nah, he needs to go. <laughs> just my opinion. Yeah, just my opinion. Uh, Minnesota. 
They got some cool. Uh, they got some cool situations kind of going on out there. Okay, you know, I haven't heard One, nothing about Minnesota. Yeah, Why? well, well, I guess can't say situations, but they have a cool situation that's being talked about or discussed as of right now, mm-hmm. and they're trying to make a change in. One of the laws. So you know how here to have a medical license and to have a gun license, you can't. Oh, you can't have both. Yeah, can't have both. Or. Yep. Right. Yep. You get you can get one or the other. Yep. <laughs> That's yep. it. Well, Minnesota is trying to change that. They're trying to make it so that their medical patients can also still have. I'm all for that. Gun licenses as well. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, just because you get high doesn't mean you don't need to protect yourself. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like I, I mean, there's nothing else to that. Like it's not like oh, you know. Well. You, well. <laughs> You can still protect yourself, your home, and, and the things you own. Oh, with for a, sure. With, well, with a medical license, you know what I'm saying? You just yeah. can't have a concealed to carry. Facts. No, facts. But that's... that's uh, You can still hold it in your vehicle if you own it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here in Colorado. Mm-hmm. But not all, but Minnesota, Minnesota, I think you have to have a license mm-hmm. to have it. In, you know what I'm saying? In any capacity, just to have I think. Yeah. a firearm? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, they're basically just trying to make that happen. That's Especially dope. with the whole rescheduling of cannabis and shit. Like, there's no reason that, like, I can have alcohol and have gun. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why, why can't I have, you know, my weed and have a gun? Like, that just, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, I get the whole idea of, like, you know, not wanting to have criminals have firearms. <laughs> and, like, such a stereotype situation. But I think there's, I, like, I think people have a better chance of doing something with a firearm when they're drunk than they are when they're high on cannabis. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I can't lie. I think they're less likely to do something. I told yeah, y'all. That's what I'm saying. When yeah. I, yeah, I don't want to shoot the nobody. I don't want to shoot shit. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked Unless about that I yesterday. I fight for my life or something. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? That's we that's talked about it yesterday. That's when you letting shit slide. You be too exactly. high. Exactly. <laughs> right, I ain't got time for this bullshit. Right <laughs> letting right, shit bro. slide. <laughs> Catch me when I ain't smoking. <laughs> you got it? Catch me outside. How about that? Yeah. But uh, that's I think that's it, man. We don't we don't got a whole lot more going. Oh no, we we could talk about these goddamn stocks. If you haven't got your goddamn oh, stocks, Jesus, this weekend you are this weekend lacking. <laughs> this shit's jumping up every Bro, day, boy. I've showed you now what three four days in yeah. a row. Yeah, every day is steady climbing. Yeah. We're over twenty dollars on the affair. Oh my one. gosh! It's like it was last I just checked. It was twenty one and some change. Bro. I want to know if anybody's got any. I know a few people who got it. Yeah, yeah. Including in the comments, my, let me know. Including myself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> proud, ain't you? Proud about them stocks. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, motherfucking, you gotta celebrate them wins, yeah. man. I only wish I would have bought more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw it, like I knew. Like it's crazy to think you can get excited about being in the stock market, but I see why people do it now. Mm-hmm. Because when you actually are educated enough to make some sort of guess based on fact, right, and knowledge and experience, and you see it working. Yeah, and then yeah. you see that shit actually be like, oh, <laughs> this shit's working. Oh, <laughs> here we go. I'm really yeah. making money now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, that shit fucking feels good, man. Word. Especially to see your money making money for you. Absolutely. Like, you know, the little money I've invested into that, you know, uh, into the stocks or whatever, you know, like that would have probably just been sitting in, you know, the bank. Mm-hmm. Or I would have spent it on some weed yeah. or something already. I would have smoked it. Up and smoked. Yeah, yeah, up and smoked that whole, you know what I'm saying? Look, I think, like, I think I've done like 120 or $130 or some shit so mm-hmm. far invested just in random stocks here and there. But, yeah, like I would have, I, man, I should just, I should, I got, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready now. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm in there, bro. He's ready to spend some bread. Yeah, because yeah. I'm ready to watch my money grow without me doing shit. All right, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? You so, go. y'all need to get on that, man. Let's get, get on these goddamn stocks, bro. Let's make this money happen. <laughs> Anyways, shout out to you guys for watching the morning show. You know what I'm saying? This one's a little bit of a short one, but, you know, it is what it is. You did? Y'all got a long one yesterday. Go watch that yeah, shit. Yeah. Shit, it was like 42 minutes yep. or some shit. I was like, God damn. <laughs> shout out to the sponsors. We got Crystal Lee's and the Cuban crew. We got Habana Extracts. We got High Grade. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all still need to let me know what we need to do with this goddamn 10,000 milligram bottle because I still don't <laughs> how have are we any pour idea. Up? Yeah, yeah. Right. how are we going to do this, man? Pour it up. We're going to... I, like, I don't know. Got to oh. figure out something. Just something crazy, stupid. Lace a blunt. That might be interesting. I'm with that. We might have to try and see if how that works. I'm we might have it. to do that. We're gonna have to see how that looks. All right. Yeah. We might. We might have figured out something. <laughs> we might have figured out something. At least some one of the, one thing we could do because that's <laughs> one That's a big ass buy. Sixteen ounces. Yeah. One blunt ain't going. That's years worth of, <laughs> of lace blunts. <laughs> yeah. <dog. Yeah. laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> but well, that's, uh, that's one idea. Yeah, yeah. It's one idea of, of many that should come. So Absolutely. if y'all have one, let, let us know. In the, comments, <laughs> in the comments below. Shout out to you, Eric. Appreciate it. In the bro. content creation studio, man. Y'all, y'all been nothing but a blessing over here. And uh, yeah, look forward to what's to come. And y'all should as well. You dig what I'm saying? Always remember to live your life high, honest, intelligent, genuine, humble, stuff. And remember, like, God damn it, I'm sexy. And ask you living that way. Because if you can't tell yourself that you're sexy, then why should anybody else? Peace.